My name is Nakia Wallace. I work out of Midville District. I'm a bus operator for three and a half years. Right now, doing, going towards the holiday season, ridership is up right now. So you have a lot of people that's going to work. You have a lot of people um, going to school. You have kids going to school. You have people out holiday shopping and everything. So there were a lot of people infect, affected by the strike. You have people, what, 30th Street was crazy. They had gated lines going around the corner and everything like that. From what Students at many colleges in Philadelphia not only have to figure out their homework, but also have to figure out ways to get to class on time in the morning wake of the SEPTA strike. Student Diamond Farrell, who attends Cabrini University, was affected by the SEPTA strike. So school-wise, my professor really didn't care. They just wanted me to be in class, and that didn't affect them. So they felt like you can find your own way to school. While they were endorsed transportation madness, many people jumped on social media quickly to complain and make comms about the strike. But some of what is being said isn't necessarily true. I had to like take different routes to get here and I did a lot of walking and I don't like walking so <laughs> it was a lot of chaos because a lot of people it was like lines that you had to go through. It was, it was just crazy because everybody was scattered. It took people hours to get home. One day, the um, operators blocked the um, entrance for the trains, so it stopped the trains from I think the airport, the Chestnut Hill lines, and I think it was another line that they wasn't running at all because the operators blocked the lines due to the strike. I couldn't get to school. I had to like call out of work. Um, I couldn't like go to any doctor's appointment or anything. Like it was really a headache. As a bus operator, yes, I do work for SEPTA, but as a union, I am local 234. So. Basically, we were fighting for our rights with SEPTA was trying to take from us. SEPTA was trying to increase on our benefits. SEPTA was trying to... Um, some of the things that need to be changed was um, in our rules as far as camera language, being disciplined. Um, they were trying to take away some of our sick time. They were trying to change Transport Workers Union Local 234 has four weeks publicly threatened to strike if a new contract was not agreed upon by the time the current contract expired at midnight. I mean, honestly, I don't think SEPTA owed me anything, but I guess they were trying to make money for themselves, but it did. And during the strike, these are one of the signs that we had. Um, on strike for dignity and justice on the job. Two, TWU Local 234.